So, welcome everybody to my very first video on this channel and also the first video in this series. Um, in this series I'm going to show you guys how to modify the textures in Black Ops 1 for PC. Since I got inspired uh, by a video I saw where someone modeled his um, map 5 and it looked completely different. So I wanted to jump in on that too, but the documentation and such is pretty bad for this game since there was no official mod tool and the tools for this are sometimes so outdated and mm, probably some documentation got lost with some sites um, like undeadmodding.com not being available anymore. So uh, I'm in this series I'm going to show you how to do the how to modify it and I'm going to sh uh, show you exactly where the files are so as I go in more into the files and find more to modify I'm going to update the series yeah today we're going to start with uh, the press start screen as you can see we say uh, I think it's Alex Mason s um, sitting there and with the little monitor in the menu. So you can see it's the same picture. We don't we just gonna change it to some random picture I found on Google. So before we can start, um as you all know when you go into your Black Ops folder and into your main, this is where all your files are. But those files are IWD files for that you need uh, WinRAR, 7-zip or any archive manager. For this I'm going to use 7-zip. I don't know. You can use anything. I just found 7-zip. So, um, also you need the IVI, IWI uh, DDS converter. I'm going to put it in the description from its mods. Um, if it's not available anymore, uh, I'm gonna try to re-upload this, but yeah, it's the best tool I found. It's pretty easy. You just click on it, you download, and here you have the file. I'm gonna quickly uh, put it in here, as you can see. So, the next thing you need is uh, a DDS plugin for Photoshop or GIMP. GIMP is a free alternative, um, but I don't like using GIMP. Uh, I still will put the um, plugin for GIMP in the description. So you need to go on GitHub. You can do this. Yeah, you just follow the link. And uh, you will probably see, since they don't have a website where you can download all these they're working on it but yeah just go on github press control and f oh wrong <laughs> press control and f and just type in dds go one down and you see those two i think yeah th those are the dds plugins you need for gimp um i think you just need this one down here or this one, choose either one. So, for Photoshop, it's a bit uh, better structured. So you go on the developer.nvidia.com website, and if you have Photoshop CC, the newest one, you can just click on download. If you have an older ver version like CS2, which is free. Um, I don't know where to get it, but uh, you, you can just Google. You just need to scroll down to the bottom of the page where it says legacy versions for Photoshop 5.0 to C6. So, yeah, you see C2, which is free, it's supported. You can download one of these. It depends on your Photoshop version. So if you have a 32-bit version or 64-bit version, you just download and follow the instructions to install. This is all you need. I'm going to show you on photo I'm going to start Photoshop now. 
and quickly show you how to identify if you what you have if I'm not mistaken um, build loader yeah so okay it's gonna take its time to load up for some reason um oh yeah you just go and help and on system info I think or was it yes uh, and then you see the auto Adobe Photoshop version and back here you see X32 or X64 depends um, yeah so leave it open for later so where are the files um, the menu files are in the IW05 folder <coughs> you just open it with WinRAR or 7-zip you open the archive and you see a folder called images just go in there and then we have uh, we have many files just scroll all the way down here until you find menu and there's a little bit more because yeah there's multiplayer files there's too much so we have menu background press start sm and menu background press start the sm is for the monitor stands for small so let's just grab it out here now we have the files we can just take those two drag it onto the e exe file and we get dds files out of this now we can see when we s make it bigger that those are the two files for the monitor and we can just go in photoshop after installing the plugin of course um, where is it there uh, we can open this one always uh, can show you it again always do load using default size and this one is grayed out a bit and this is not so this is the pair start section for the next part you need to open the image you want to take I just took any image from Google I'm just gonna copy it here over and it does not need to look good yeah um, you could add a text here right now um, which I'm just gonna do uh, modded ops or something like this but um, in another video I'm gonna show you how to change the the text which is uh, saying Call of Duty Black Ops but for this uh, I'm just gonna do this so after we've done this we can actually uh, let's let's do this first too so this just Chris gets this and uh, let's do a saturation on there just to make it look different um, let's go select color range let's change the uh, no the reds yeah let's change the red layer new adjustment layer hue saturation yeah let's just uh, do this so after you changed your background to whatever you want you go just go on file save as down here you can choose the format just d3 d in dds um, I recommend always doing a backup but I'm gonna show you something where a backup is not necessary but I think for editing sometimes it's helpful so do a backup or not decide uh, you need to decide I'm just gonna save it over because I already have one um, if you change the textures always uh, look out for 
for this you need to check it so it generates a new map um, I want to forget it uh, I once used use exist in mid maps and the textures did not change you can also click on 2d preview and you see how it will look like so just click s save same for this one yes just save it so we created uh, our new backgrounds S uh, but we can just put the DDS files back in there so we're just gonna not make a copy select those two and drag it back on here this tool was made also for other Call of Duty's but s since we need this for the Black Ops 1 we type in free and just enter give it a second and then you have those two files which you can put in there um, now you can go back in IW05 and replace the files but uh, if something goes wrong you always need to ba do backups and such so you can just go in here copy the IW01 or any IW I think and paste it so created a copy you go in the copy images and just delete everything except was it except the black give me a quick look yeah except the black except the black down here I don't know why I found something very helpful um, to not always uh, do backups and such you can just create a new copy of an IW file um, then you rename this one to the next highest number you have so I'm gonna call it 44 uh, for example if the highest number you have is 41 you call it 42 because the game always loads from 0 to the highest number it does not look uh, okay I only need 39 files so I'm gonna load from 0 to 39 then uh, it starts with zero, 0 and goes up so that's why we can create this and just put our files in this image folder which I'm gonna do yes so if we have done this I'm just gonna throw out that my existing one yes. so we have our file now and now we can just start the game yes okay it will show and as you can see we change the background back here to the one we created now we can go in here and as you can see it's also that background so uh, this was pretty easy and I'm gonna continue with the menu so first of all the Call of Duty Black Ops text which I'm still gonna need to find um, and then we go more deeply into zombies like this background or yeah it's the same but yeah so i hope you enjoyed it and uh, if you have any suggestions which what i could do better in this tutorial because i want this to be up and to be accessible for everyone um, i'm gl gladly taking tips and yeah thanks for watching see you next time